Hello everybody, welcome back to another Nerdy Draws. Uh, today I am drawing a, um, a gem Sona of mine. Her name is Chals Chalcedony. I really hope I'm saying these gem names right because, you know, I'm really bad at these. But, um, she, I, me and my friend, uh, Turquoise T, we were, which actually there's supposed to be a little surprise from us coming up soon. That's gonna be in July. But anyways, uh, so me and Turquoise T were looking at uh, bad gem sonas after we saw this really, really funny one. And I'm not going to say it because I'm not going to shame anybody's art. But, like, it was freaking so funny. And we just sat there laughing for a good five minutes. But, um, so it inspired me to, and this is going to sound really bad, but it inspired me to make a gem sona of my own. And so I looked up the gem list and I saw Chalcedony and I was like, let's do an all white, almost pearly gem and we'll have a good time. And, and so that's, ended up, that's what I ended up doing. And I, ended up, and I found out later on that Chalcedony actually uh, glows. So you'll see that in the later of the video, but that was uh, fun to do actually. A glowing character, I haven't done that in quite a while. It's too bad that um, this program doesn't do lumosity like uh, like Sai used to do. I, I used Sai for a while. I don't know if you guys know this, but I used Sai for a while and it ended up like going kaput on me. Um, so I had to stop using it. Like it stopped reading my tablet and everything. So uh, I have to use, uh, I started using Metabang and Metabang ended up being really good to me because it's got the whole comic thing and stuff. But Sai had Lumosity setting and this does not have Luminosity, Lumosity. I don't really remember. I say everything wrong, so let's just let's just make that clear now. But so um, so when I was creating her, I wasn't really thinking much about the design. I was like, let's put something here and there, and just uh, give her this kind of sword, and I think this would look good with her. So I wasn't really thinking about the design concept. But one of my friends actually brought up that she looks like a pirate, and so because of this, I came up with the whole backstory. Well, not really backstory, just kind of a concept as to what she is. Um, Oh, that's me looking up uh, music. But um, I kind of came up with the concept that she is an explorer and she's trying to find worlds for Homeworld. Um, so that's what she ended up being. And she's also a soldier because she's got a because she's a quartz and she's got to you know protect um, her people. But she would be the explorer and she was sent off by Homeworld and. I think she maybe fell in love with not Earth, but a different planet, and I haven't really gotten any of the details clear because I didn't actually plan on making her, you know, a big gem Sona, but after listening to a couple songs and creating her backstory, I think I actually want to keep her, like use her more often, and I created another gem Sona a while back, and I don't have a picture of it because I don't remember where I put it, but I created a Moonstone, and, um... I didn't like her as much as this one. The sketch, I actually like. I always like the sketches more than I like the digital drawings. But I didn't like Moonstone as much as this one. Because this one, I just went all out. And instead of planning anything, I just kind of drew and hoped for the best. And this is what came out of it. Also, I am doing... Um, I'm taking AP Art next year for in my high school year. And so... Um, I'm not saying that I'm gonna post less, I already post less than I do. Can you guys really keep me on top of that? I'm so bad at keeping on top of my YouTube channel and it'd be great if you guys could be like, hey, post more videos, because I could do that, but I just, I need, oh, sorry, I need somebody to kind of push me to do that. But I'm taking AP art and I don't know if I can upload the sketches, but if I can upload the sketches, I'm gonna do a couple of speed draws using those sketches. But uh, as far as I know right now, I can't, because the teacher said, uh, don't, because basically people could steal your art and use it for the final, which is really sucky. If people could, like, not do that, that'd be great, so I can post my art, but, you know, people aren't like that. They do what they want. So, I will clarify that before I actually do anything, but for the meantime, I'm gonna be doing some regular speed paints and just, you know, kinda chillin' with this. Um, there's gonna be a new... Steven, not, uh, Steven Universe, not Steven Universe. There's gonna be a discussion posted um, about. Do, 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 do. I'm trying to think. Ah! 
I cannot think. Oh, it's um, Alice Matters Returns. I really want to play that game for you guys online, by the way, but I can't find it on Steam. But anyways, there's going to be a discussion posted on that soon. Um, and also, with the uh, with the coloring on this, I thought I'd just bring this up. Why do I keep pausing like that? Huh. Anyways, with the colors on this, I was actually really happy with the colors on this because I used a little bit of purple instead of like using a dark gray or anything, and I think I should really keep doing that because that's what... Why? Why is just just staying still? But, um, I'm gonna start using that. I know Turquoise T told me to do that a long time ago, but I've been kind of having trouble with it, even though she's tried her best to teach me. So I'm gonna be practicing that a lot more and practicing my colors a lot more because I've noticed anything I do with colors is just bad. Like, my friend had to teach me how to do my makeup because I used the worst colors ever. Like, I was like, oh, hey, I like blue, let me just put blue eyeshadow on. And no, it just, it doesn't work. Not for my skin tone especially, it just does not work. So, I, <laughs> I don't know why I just went off on that little tangent there, but I really need to work on colors because I'm so bad at using colors at any place in my life, ever. Uh, I apparently am really bad at identifying colors. I'm not colorblind, but I'm still bad at using colors. So I'm gonna practice that a lot more and probably do a lot more color studies, especially when I'm doing my AP artwork, because I know we can. And if you can hear that, that's my brother laughing at YouTube videos back there. Yep, he's got his headphones in and he's doing a good thing. He's probably watching some Minecraft videos. But anyways, so, um, coming near the end of this video, I put my signature on there thinking I was done, but then I realized that there was actually a lot that I had forgotten. Like, if you notice, because I usually, what I usually do with the, um, oh, I remember what I did here. Okay, just sit through with me because I accidentally left the recording on while I closed out my computer, so this kind of stays there for a while. So just sit with me in the discussion. But, um, so usually I'll color in the lines, because right here they're black, they're black outline. And usually what I'll do with the lines is I'll color them in, I'll like put a clipping layer and then I'll color them in with different colors. So this way it just looks more natural, because black is a really harsh color when you're, when you're line arting. And if you're gonna, if you're gonna do it for like manga and you're gonna line art with manga, then I can understand that, or comics. And if it's just black and white, then black is a totally fine color. In fact, it's probably best that you do that. See? There's my lock screen. Don't ask me why. But, um, when you're, when you're using actual colors like this, I highly recommend actually coloring in the lines, because it makes the drawing look a lot better. So that's usually what I do, and I guess I just, um, forgot to do that. I actually like the way it looks without lines, but you couldn't really tell which was which, so I ended up just coloring it in with the lines and stuff. It's too bad. Next time I think I'll do a line artless one, because I really like line artless. But we're coming near the end of the video, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the speed paint. If there's something you'd like to see me draw next, put it down in the comment section below. Bye, guys!